Welcome to the Tool Hut channel. Today we have a 2008 Chevrolet Avalanche. We're going to program the transfer case module and set it up. Stand by. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, first things first. Any of the equipment that you see used in my videos is available on the website. If it's not there, send me an inquiry off the website, toolhutusa.com. That's T-O-O-L-H-U-T-U-S-A.com. My name is Sam. Okay, so let's start off with what we got here. We have a 2000 Chevy Avalanche. Obviously four-wheel drive because it's got a transfer case module. The transfer case has been module has been replaced by the shop. Um, I do mobile programming, so this is the way I typically get the vehicle. So what do you need to program this vehicle? You need a J2534 device with the firmware loaded on a laptop, or I, I guess it could be a, a desktop if you really wanted it to be. It has to be properly configured uh, for Ace Local's website. I'm not going to get into that today. That's a different video. You need an acdelcotds.com subscription. Currently, at the time of this publication, it's $40 per VIN. You need a stable power supply so we can maintain battery voltage. And you need a Tech 2 or another professional level scan tool that will perform the uh, transfer case neutral learn. All right, let's get this thing going. All right, let's get the party started here. Click on Start SPS. I have logged in. Got my J2534 device plugged into the vehicle. Got my stable power supply on it. We gotta let all the Java load here. I did bring you along at real time. So you can see this happen in real time. It doesn't take that long, so. Hopefully it'll all make sense when we're done here. Yeah, I'm going to choose the J2534 tool and it'll replace and program. I have used this device before, so it won't ask me for it again. I am using the MDI-2. Not that that really matters. It's the same exact procedure no matter what J2534 device you're using. So we're going to ID the vehicle. It's a 2008 Chevrolet Avalanche. And you get a VIN. If you've done everything correctly, you get a VIN number there. There's always a field action. I don't know. I said OK. Lots of programmable modules. Transfer case control module. It depends on RPO code. We do have the programmable one. Some more directions. Replace the controller. It's already been replaced, so no big deal. I'm just going to hit continue or next or whatever it said there. And so we've got a couple of options up here. Nothing that we can change, uh, but you can see that the current calibration over on the right hand side is a negative one. Star dot negative one tells me the module is blank. It tells you if it's a, got an RPO N83, it's not programmable. I've already told you this is the one that is programmable. So I have tried to program that one that's not programmable. Not a big deal. It just doesn't program. And once it's downloaded all of the stuff here, you'll get a pretty quick status bar here. At, it will kind of creep across at the beginning and then it'll shoot across. So there you go. That's actual speed. I did not speed that up. It tells you to turn the key off for 30 seconds and let the controller go to sleep. I'm going to hit cancel because we're done here. But there's more to do. Okay, so I did choose to use the Autel for this function here. So I hit the blue VIN button up at the top, but 
auto detects the VIN. I will apologize for the video. I'm trying to do it with the with my phone. I hit the wrong button because you know I'm looking through the viewfinder. So then it wants to know if it's an Avalanche Silverado Suburban. It does have automatic air conditioning. So it did ID the vehicle. I'm gonna hit yes. It establishes the vehicle communications here. Trying to get a better handle on it here. We're gonna choose the I'm gonna hit the hot functions. Let's just see if it's in there. Nope, it's not. No transfer case control module in there. I'm gonna go to diagnosis. Now I'm not gonna do a complete scan because I know exactly what I'm trying to get done here. Transfer case control module. Want an active test. And you'll see the ATC motor learn or neutral learn or whatever they call it on this one. Tells you to uh, start the vehicle, press the brake, and shift it to neutral. I see where it says not learned. It says learning there on the blue. And it says it's in two wheel drive right now. Okay, so let's just do a real quick read codes here. Make sure it doesn't have any codes left in it. I have flipped it through all the ranges here. It has no fault codes in the transfer case control module. So we're done here. Thanks for watching. Uh, give, make sure you give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Any questions or comments down below, keep them cleaner. I delete them. Have a great day.